Employees at the U.S. government printing office are stocking the shelves in the agency's newly designed and renovated bookstore. In terms of the layout, we decided to go ahead and change the way the books are presented. We actually have power aisles now, which means that we can direct traffic around the bookstore so that people can see all the wonderful books that we have. New paint, new lights, new shelves, new furniture, and a whole new layout all make up the uniqueness of GPO's bookstore. And it's not just the cosmetics. This bookstore is a one of a kind, containing publications from throughout the federal government. We have thousands and thousands of titles. When you put all of those titles together within our bookstore, you realize that what you're looking at is the feel, the pulse, the tone of information that's being disseminated by the federal government. The bookstore traces its roots to 1895 when customers had to take a freight elevator up six floors to buy books. But in 1921, GPO established the bookstore's current retail location at North Capitol Street in Washington, D.C. And through the years, the bookstore has seen many of our nation's most important publications stocked on its shelves. Perhaps the bookstore is best known for the place to be every winter when GPO employees distribute the President of the United States' budget for the federal government. And now as GPO turns 150, the creative force of the agency, GPO's Creative Services Department, put their skills together on a design for the bookstore's new look. Everything has been redesigned, but it's a lot more open and more inviting, and I think people will find that it's, it's a different experience going in there now and, and looking at books. In fact, the entire renovation from design to construction was done in-house by about 100 GPO employees. The shelves and new main desk, for example, were built from scratch and pieced together by employees. Uh, all our shops that we have, uh, carpentry shop, electrical shop, power branch, masonry shop, engineering, we're all involved with this. The men and women that were involved with this are very enthusiastic about it. They enjoyed working on this. Uh, they're very proud of the work that they did in here, and so am I. With GPO celebrating its 150th anniversary, graphic designer Chris Dunham reached into that storied history to create a colorful 9 by 12 foot mural depicting the history of GPO and the evolution of printing. There's wooden type on there, and there's also digital type. There's um, an antique iron press on there. Uh, there's also um, the actual uh, resolution from uh, GPO being created and a security pattern in the upper right hand corner. So we've left kind of a legacy I guess so to speak for the shops and the men and the women that that performed this work. Um, they should be proud and I'm proud of them. The bookstore has been a large part of GPO's 150 year history by making government documents and publications available to the public. Although the bookstore has seen a few facelifts through the years, the mission of keeping America informed on the documents of our democracy has been the foundation that has stood the test of time for both this unique bookstore and the U.S. government printing office.